For my priority on the picture books, I chose the topic of love for the theme in the picture books. And uh, these are my uh, annotations. The first one is I Love Trucks. It's just like a pretty basic, simple book. But in this book, the author is showing kids how to see an image and the emotion that's in them, how they can put that into words. And that word is love. They love the truck. They love this, they love that. And not only that, they're also learning how to, how to name these different vehicles in a way that is productive for them and for the, for the person that is given in this book. But in the simplest form, love is integrated into this book. And through it, kids are able to express themselves better. My next book is One Love. In One Love, it's a version of the song by Bob Marley. This book is pretty, pretty interesting because it uses this, this topic to address so many different things. First of all, it starts out with a girl in her community and she's just trying to get everybody working to clean up her community. But as she's going by, she's, uh, she's seeing all these different people from different ethnicities. And this is not stopping her from getting them together or inviting them for this cleanup project. But instead, she, mo she motivates them to go out and work together as one. So in this book, we take love a step forward. And we see how, even though there's different cultures, there's different, there's, there should not be a minority. We should all be one under love. And that's what this book shows right here. At such a young age, kids can learn from these things and see that people are not so different. And even if they are, we should love them because of that. And even though this book is about getting together for a community, in, the, in between those lines, there is the theme of love present. My next book is I Love You, a pop-up pop book. In this book, the same theme is addressed, but in a different way. In this book, the author, he uses 3D images that pop up when you open the book. But as you go throughout the book, you notice that these images are changing in geometry and size and texture and just everything is changing about them. And he pairs them beautifully with his sentences describing things such as how the, gl the gloom of joy makes him love it. And he also in integrates the I. So instead of I love you with a little I, he talks about your eyes. So you're seeing, you're loving. And through this, kids are learning to appreciate the things that they see. And they're not always gonna be the same. They're gonna be different, different sizes, different things. But we should be able to look at the shapes or not the shit, just the little things that make him unique and love them through that. So this is a different way of addressing love and differences. The next one is I'm trying to love spiders. It just isn't easy. In this book, the author, in every single page, you can see how he uses illustrations like spider webs on the pages. And as he's trying to, to tackle these, this fear of spiders, he's doing it by showing that they're not so bad. He shows facts about them, how they're helpful, how they kill bugs, how they're just trying to do their own thing and we're afraid of them because of their appearance or because of what they might do to us. But in reality, spiders just like anything else are something that we're afraid of because we don't know. And to love something, we need to understand what it is. And even though we fear something, that should not stop us from loving it. That's what this message is in this book, that even though something's scary, we should, we should try to appreciate it for what it is and not fear, but love it for how unique and how strange it might be. The next one is Honey, I Love You. Honey, I Love You, this book is it's pretty basic. It's just a girl that's on, a, on the country road with her family, and she's just naming out the things that she loves. She loves her friends, she loves laughter, she loves her family, but those simple things are what really matter sometimes. And in this book, it is clear that we must not place our love or our desires and those big things like money or fancy cars or anything like that. But the real values that matter are always gonna be next to us. It's gonna be our family, the person that helps you when you're in need. And that, that love cannot be replaced. And that love is unique. And in this book, we're able to see that love from a girl's perspective, from a younger mind that other kids can relate to. And even though they don't understand the complexity of these feelings, they can still relate to it. And that's what's beautiful about it. My next one and final is 
would they love a lion? This book, it addresses a really, really tough topic with young kids. In this book, the family has a newborn baby at home. So Anna, which is the character in the book, she, she's trying to imagine herself as something that will draw the attention of her family. So she goes from animals, she goes from elephants to bears, and eventually she concludes in a lion, because the lion's roar will get her family's attention. And, and the, the topic is so, is, so, is so hard because kids at this age, they don't understand that it's just part of life to have siblings, and that they're eventually gonna love them more than anything else, and they're always gonna be there for them. But at this young age, they don't comprehend that, so they, they get jealous because the attention or the love is not being directed upon them now, it's, it's being shared between two different sides. And of course, newborns need more attention than a regular kid. So of course, this book talks about how this might affect a kid. And it just concludes on the fact that we're all just trying to be accepted, whether it's in our family, we're trying to find our place in there. And the only thing that can eliminate all these doubts and all these needs for change is for us to be loved for who we are and for what is actually going on. And that's what this character goes through in the book. And as you can see, there's so many different books that have the theme of loving them. Some are hitting in spiders and the fear we have of them. Some are hitting in how cultures are different and how we need to come together as one. Some are hitting in the birth of a newborn kid. But at the very end, this powerful theme is present in many picture books because it's such an important thing to human life. And even though young kids don't really understand how complex love is, they can learn in I Love Trucks to just express themselves, to understand what the word love means and how to relate it to something that they're feeling inside. So that is how these books are really helping young readers. And even though they might not realize it, even though this might be a subconscious thing, they're still learning and they're still being educated by this on such a really, really delicate theme. Thank you.